Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to crack VP encrypted wireless routers. So to do this first step we need to do airmon ng check q airmon ng start real on zero to put your wireless adapter to monitor mode arrow dump ng real on zero mon to capture the wireless router that we want to crack or attack. And as you can see, there's many different routers. In my previous videos, we cracked the VPA2, but we want to now try to crack a VP enabled router. How, so, how do we do it? So, we first need to specify error.mg, we'll run 0 mon, channel of course, which is 4, and PS's ID, which is this one. And then we specify the capture, and I will call it the IV capture. So this will capture all the traffic and data inside this router, which is VEP enabled. So how can we actually uh, find a way to make the capture file to be able to be cracked? So to do this, we need to open a different terminal. We use Aeroplay and G to inject packets. You write fake authentication zero and then the wireless access point we're on zero one and you click enter and as you see here we have a new clients which is us that we injected inside we make the fake authentication attack and zero means uh inject on all stations and in one means uh to inject specific ones so you can look at it at the help manual here what different functions you can do so what we also need to do next is make the arp replay specify the bss id and also the wireless adapter and you just hit enter Now it will capture the packets in a cap file, but also, as you know, the IV file is also saved here. So we need to wait for a longer time until we can reach a certain data that we can then correct the um, cap file. So usually it could take uh, up to one hours so you will need to have a lot of patience okay after some time if you guys see the data is a much higher level there and we let the injection of the packets run for a longer time and now if i cancel this one which sends the packets and i just let uh, this one run the the capturing of the router for the you know that it uh, makes the iv file be able to be cracked. Um, the next command will be to use aircraft ng and specify the key uh, length that you want to use to crack the uh, VPA cap file. And then, we, but first of all, we need to also look at the folder, of course, where it is saved. And as you see, this is the cap file, right? So what we do is aircraft ng. Specify the key length. And then we copy this one and then we hit enter and boom we have the password key so it doesn't look like the numeric value of like one two one three whatever or like alphabetic but it looks like this but you still can copy it and and then go to your wi-fi and authenticate yourself with it uh and yeah just copy it inside and then you have internet as well 